Goodbye, July. Hello, August. Hey, everybody. It's August 1st. You're watching Bull Boom Bear Bust. And it's Sunday, August 1st, 2021. Appreciate you joining me. I did take a couple days off from making videos, so appreciate you coming back. We actually went out of town on a little holiday. I forgot my charger for my laptop. So I just decided to uh, make it a couple day um, stay away or vacation from making videos. Also, now, today's the first day that the eviction moratorium has come to an end. Um, it's likely to be too soon to see any real new stories or carnage come out of this. But we do have some big news that we want to get into today and lots of other news. Now, before we get started, just want to do a quick thank you to Anthony from Utah for your generous, kind donation. Thank you very much. It does mean a lot. You know, living out here in California, um, it's not as easy as it may appear. You know, investing, things like that definitely do help, but I'm not in a situation where I can quit my regular job. Um, of course, I have family dependents, so definitely thank you again, Anthony, for your kind donation. Really appreciate it. It really helps a lot. Okay, so here's one of the bigger stories going around the business news today, and that is the expiration or the end of the eviction moratorium. Let's take a quick look at what a couple news outlets have to say about it, then I'm going to give you my take on the story as well. Now here's what is what one of the lawmakers had to say, quote, there was not enough time to socialize it within our caucus as well as to build a consensus necessary, unquote. Now another lawmaker said the following, quote, I absolutely believe that in this moment, yes, we are failing the American people, unquote. That was a representative from Massachusetts. All right, another recent headline, the eviction moratorium ends. The current administration rushes to disperse billions in aid. All right, so question for all of you listening. Even if billions in aid is dispersed, how is this going to fix the situation? Um, it may pay a month's rent, two months' rent, maybe even a year's rent depending on how much aid gets dispersed. But will it fix the situation? No, rent is gonna become due again. You see, it has to be an endless spigot of financial aid in order to continue to pay rent. Rent doesn't stop, rent is forever, right? Unless you just stop paying and squat or something like that, or of course, if you buy the home, then one day you may pay it off, but even then you're gonna have upkeep, taxes, possible homeowners association fees, and good luck buying a home and outbidding the uh, institutional investors that are coming in and buying so many homes that we just talked about in a previous report. Now we saw record levels of institutional buying and big companies buying homes and bidding up the cost of homes and pushing a lot of people into uh, having to now rent. And uh, sadly, this is what happens when you allow the endless pockets of institutions into the housing market. Uh, so no, this aid is not gonna fix anything. It's still gonna be the same issue down the road, maybe a month, maybe two months, maybe six months. It depends on how much aid is handed out. Um, but some would argue that the entire nation could be turned into some sort of section eight or government funded housing. Um, oh yeah, and we're gonna talk about the debt ceiling, that new update on that's coming up here in just a couple minutes. Uh, but no, this aid is not going to fix the problem. It may kick the can down the road again, but it looks like we're getting closer and closer to the end of the road. And many are actually really surprised that the eviction moratorium was allowed to expire. Now, again, that's the federal national eviction moratorium. There's still local, states, uh, cities, and even counties that have their own laws in place for this eviction moratorium. So we're going to keep an eye on it and bring you as many stories and updates as possible on the situation. All right, another recent article here out of KTNV.com, how the eviction moratorium could impact the housing market. Now we've talked about this, that one affects the other. When someone's looking for a home, they're gonna be less likely to put in a top offer or a top bid on a home when they can rent the same or similar home for half the price of what the mortgage would be. Now, right now, we're not seeing that. We're seeing rents extremely elevated because of the housing crunch, and part of it was the eviction moratorium. Will we see rents drop because of the new amount or the new surge in 
rentals that will now be available. Um, you let me know. Again, this could be local. Different areas could have different laws and requirements here. But will we see any impact on the housing market either nationally or locally? I think we're going to see some local changes take effect from this. But specifically in housing markets and in areas where the eviction moratorium was allowed to expire, where there's no new moratoriums in place, you know, in that particular location. So it's something that you're not going to see, obviously, the day after the eviction moratorium expires, the first day today, August 1st, you're not going to see any big uh, fireworks from this. But I think it's something we're likely going to see here in the next few weeks and months that we'll definitely also keep an eye on for you. Right, next report here. This is out of the hill. This is about the missed debt ceiling deadline that's, according to this article, kicking off a high stakes fight amongst the lawmakers. And this just happened today. The legal limit on how much debt the U.S. government can owe is reimposed Sunday, kicking off a high stakes battle over federal spending with dire implications for global financial markets. A two year deal lapsed at midnight following inaction from Congress and the president to give the U.S. more borrowing authority. The Treasury Department will now begin taking what it refers to as extraordinary measures to prevent the U.S. from defaulting on its debt. Um, again, you please let me know. I don't think they're going to let this expire, um, but a lot of people were surprised that the eviction moratorium was allowed to expire. All right, but again, that one had local uh, actions in place where some areas may have protections against this against this but the debt ceiling not true with, as far as local protections the debt ceiling is the debt ceiling nationally um, I really don't think they're going to allow this to expire because they will be to blame they will be the obvious um, cause of this um, there will not be some other situation or event that they can blame if they fail to again kick the can down the road in this situation and many people think that there has to be this um, come together or Congress agreeing to do this. Well, no, there's something called EO's executive orders at the sign of a pen. They can override any, pretty much any law. Um, for example, even things like starting a war and dropping bombs. You know, the president can sign something and make it happen. They can override any sort of vote or legal procedure through an emergency action or executive order. So no, I don't think this is going to be allowed to happen. If it does, uh, there's going to be major, major, a major, major fallout. And the uh, obvious cause will be right there in front of us. It's going to be the lawmakers that didn't kick the can down the road again. So some people would like to see that happen. Other people say, yes, it's time to stop spending and finally face reality. And that would force America to live within our means. Other people say, no, we have to keep kicking the can down the road forever. It's endless debt. We're in too deep now. The people are too dependent on endless debt and spending and support to ever stop this. Otherwise, you're going to see millions and millions of people uh, probably perish and not even survive here for very long unless this is passed again. So uh, you let me know. We're going to keep an eye on everything here for you. Thanks, everybody, for watching this report. Stay well. Stay safe. Stay prepared. Keep stacking. Bye for now, everybody. Peace.